So we're gonna be doing a full face of Lux makeup. Like this is all makeup by like designer brands or like premier brands, what you would call. Uh, don't worry, I am gonna do a drugstore routine. A very summertime, springtime friendly routine. Um, and I'm also gonna be trying for the first time a new foundation. This is from Chanel. This is their Les Beige. Be Bees? I'm not even gonna try. Um, water fresh tint and I got the shade deep I have heard of some comparisons between this and the um, cover or not cover girl um, no it is cover girl um, they're a simply ages like essence I can't remember what it's called specifically but I have also tried that one too and it's currently my favorite so I want to give this a try because I've heard a lot of people saying like this is so good too if you guys want to see a comparison video between that let me know and I will film one um but I always have to ask y'all about makeup stuff because like sometimes y'all be rocking with the makeup videos and sometimes y'all don't so if you do want to see that leave a comment down below and let me know so I can know to do that for you they do have a travel size of this I don't think I got the travel size I got the full size the travel size is a cheaper it's $47 which is nice this retails for $70 although I did buy mine at um, Bloomies which is like the smaller version of Bloomingdale's um, and they had like a 15% off thing I literally bought it yesterday and so I got it for like 59 or whatever um, and I have the shade deep but they do have um, uh, I thought they had two shades deeper than this oh yeah they have two shades deeper so they have deep and then they have medium deep and then they have um what is the other shade okay i can um deep plus you get like this little brush that comes with it so i think that that's nice like you get a little brush like this which will be perfect for travel i probably won't use this day to day but like for travel just having like this little chamel like little thing like that's nice so i'm just gonna pump it onto the back of my hand i'm just gonna do two pumps to start with and i'm gonna take the brush and i'm just going to dot 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 it all over and then i'll come back and spread it out y'all this literally feels like i'm just like swiping water all over my skin like water with like whatever this stuff is in it it feels so nice it's very light like i wouldn't even say this is medium i would say this is light coverage um if you don't want um your hyperpigmentation to show through I maybe you should put this on and then spot conceal after I'm just gonna do one more pump just to see if I can like build up in my areas where I have hyperpigmentation um but it is a very like light like when they say no makeup this is what they mean okay you know what if you dab it in areas where you do have hyperpigmentation it covers it adds like a little bit more coverage but not a lot don't spot conceal before you put this on because of all the water that's in here i feel like it will just like wash it away kind of it just looks like your skin when you touch your face it doesn't feel sticky or anything it's definitely like it feels like something's on there but it doesn't feel sticky i feel like this is a perfect summertime little thing i'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and i have some armani givenchy ysl um i don't know why i brought that this product here is a fluid sheer from armani and i'm just gonna pump a little bit on the back of my hand this is like a radiance like glow enhancer product um so again if you're trying to stay away from that type of stuff like you know maybe this isn't for you but i'm just going to put that on the top of my cheeks um i just like this for like a built-in highlight and then i'm gonna go in with a powder highlight later now i am using the ysl all hours precise angles concealer and i have the shade dw1 the shade I have in Fluid Sheer is shade number 10. I think this is like, I think it's called like bronze or something. So I'm just going to very lightly with concealer. Well, you know what? It might not be light, but it's not a crazy amount. I've been noticing my dark circles are kind of like getting out of hand lately. So I'm probably going to be doing something to like, you know, mitigate that soon not in, as in like cosmetic i'm trying to um personally like my goal is to like stay away from any injectables or anything like that until i hit 40. just personal goal i know a lot of people do it younger these days i just don't want to overdo it 
so i'm gonna let that chill for a second and then we're gonna bronze this is the chanel less beiges i guess same line as that um cream bronzer they do have this now in a mini formula like a, a mini one which i feel like i'm gonna get that one soon because this one is kind of old i will say though it could be deeper like is it deep enough for most dark skin tones not really um and you do kind of have to pick up enough so it will be seen but it really is like it lends itself to the no makeup makeup situation that we're going for but i am glad though that they came out with a smaller size of this because this size like i don't unless you were wearing like a full beat every day which i'm sure there are people that do um i don't see how you would be using this up every day now we're gonna blend out our concealer i don't have a designer cream blush so maybe i should get one one i have been kind of eyeing lately is the ysl like little lip and cheek they come in like those little tubes i've seen people say good things about them and the brush I'm using to blend out my concealer, this is a minted foundation brush. Although when I go to look for it online to like link it for you guys, I don't see it anymore. So I don't know if they stopped making this brush. It's been discontinued, but this is my favorite brush to blend out my concealer quickly. So for setting powder, this is the, I actually haven't used this in such a long time. This is the Givenchy um, Prism Libre powder in Pauline Mimosa. It's like their orangey, um, pinky one and i'm using a damp sponge to blend it out this is just my preferred method lately is a damp sponge i used to be an all powder buff puff type of girl like i only wanted to use powder puffs but the damp sponge i feel like just makes it look very flawless and like skin like to me as you know like you're gonna be out it's gonna be hot like if you're at a wedding if you're at an event or whatever or just day to day like you're just out walking around and it's warmer i don't want makeup that i have to baby like i can't stand that like makeup that's just like not gonna stay put and i didn't go crazy with the powder i'm also not gonna bake i usually like bake a little bit by my nose but i'm not gonna do that today i just want it to like you know settle in blush i have these two by armani this one is shade 61 and then this one is shade 11 so i'm gonna mix these two together i feel like shade 11 doesn't look like much this one don't count her out don't count her out also i think like the way these blushes look in here they look like they might be like like you might be able to like get refills of them like which if you can that's really nice i didn't realize that before mixing these two together okay and I'll just go back with my sponge and now for highlight I did have this Westman Atelier highlight but it's like more creamy and since I have it oh calm down powder on i'm gonna use this armani um setting or highlighter um i don't know what the shade is it doesn't say one but it's just like this pretty golden highlight and i just like to take the end of my beauty blender dab it in there really quickly and i just like press it into my skin just so we're not getting like that strobing that we used to be doing in the early 2000s no more rubbing in and just gliding it over your face no press it in okay now i don't have any designer eyeliner but i do have this um from armani this is like a liquid eye tint and the um applicator comes like with a point that's like very nice i don't know if you guys can see that um a point that's very precise so i'm just going to use this as like eyeliner and smudge it out and get my brush ready so i just go like along my lash line very lightly when i first got this product from them this was gifted to me in pr i was like there's no way i'm using that like i was just so scared of it i thought it like was just gonna look so like jarring it blends out 
to be like the prettiest little smoky liner. It blends so effortlessly, so nicely. It really just blends out to be like the prettiest little, like just natural looking liner. Your eyes just look a little bit more defined and everything. This will be like really pretty for like a date night. I think what I wanna do, ooh, I feel like I got a little bit too crazy with the smudge on this eye. <laughs> Um, I think what I want to do, because like this black is like kind of like, it's not jarring, but it just looks like a little bit more sultry, like a little bit more nighttime. I feel like I want to get like a brown one. I'm going to be using the Smashbox Mascara because I just really like it. It's my favorite right now. It's called the Super Fan uh, Fanned Out Mascara from Smashbox. I don't have short lashes, if I could talk. Um, but they are kind of stubborn in the fact that like they don't like curl up really they kind of they don't point down But they kind of just point straight out um, And so you can't ever really see them too much if I don't have on mascara and this Mascara picks them up so high like other mascaras help lift my lashes. Yeah, but this one like it does really what the name says like it really does fan them out and make them just look so nice this is like a smaller luxury brand this is farah hamidi and i'm gonna be using her lip pencil in the shade uh bruni i think it's called to just lightly line my lips day to day i don't line my lips like when i'm going to work and stuff because like hold on let me do this I'll be drinking water all day. I'll have a tea. I'll have lunch. Like I don't like makeup that I have to fool with throughout the day. So I just put on like a lip gloss or a lip balm and I go on about my business. YSL, I cannot believe I'm getting PR from YSL Beauty, y'all. They sent over two um, new candy glaze shades. They sent over Flashing Rose, which I actually have tried that one and I like it, but they have this other one called Scenic Brown. And it's like just a pretty brown. This is very different for me. I'm usually a pinky nude girl, but I wanna try this one to see how I like it. These are like um, balmy, but they're kind of sheer. And I actually really love that. Oh, I think that's so pretty. So I've taken my hair down and everything. This is our finished look. I love how this came out. Now for the Chanel foundation, I love this. It does not feel like I have foundation on, which is like usually my goal when I'm wearing foundation day to day. Um, for $70 though, do I think it's worth it? It depends on what you feel like is worth it. Are there other products that could maybe do the same thing? Yeah. But if you like to buy Chanel products or whatever, I definitely feel like it would be worth it for you and you would enjoy it. You could definitely, I feel like, get by just getting the treble size version and having that last you for a little bit. I do think for the $70, it's nice that they included a little brush, which I do actually really like this brush and how it applied the product. But I do think it's nice. I really enjoyed it. Um, and like I said, I have been using a Chanel, or not a Chanel, a CoverGirl product that is very similar to this. So if y'all want to see a comparison between those two, please let me know. That is our finished look for today. I will link all these products below for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.